I've got into this horrible, horrible, horrible habit, habit, habit of going to bed at like 4 a.m. And that doesn't work very well when you have to get up at half seven to, to get ready to record a reward video at eight o'clock. But welcome back to a brand new Foot Champions and Division Rivals rewards video. It is currently 7.59, about to turn eight o'clock on the dot and we are ready to open up my rewards now. Before we do it, I want to quickly show you guys what the team I have changed into is looking like. I have stopped trying hard in Foot Champions, so I've I've got rid of the, the meta Virgil van Dijk. I've got rid of um, Dumfries, and I've got rid of uh, Timothy De Bruyne, and I've brought in that new SBC Manlas because I think he looks really good, and I like Manlas a lot, personally, in real life. Uh, my uh, wants to watch untradeable Cancelo, and I've brought in a tradable wants to watch Ronaldo. So, it's just turned... 8 a.m. We are about to claim our division rivals and foot champions rewards. We finished in rank three for division rivals as we usually do because it's just great to finish in rank three. Um, we get two rare place packs and two rare election players packs. It's the best rank, 100% the best rank in division two to finish is rank three. Uh, so we'll go ahead and claim those. We don't even have to play any rivals games during the week, which is fantastic. So we just play our 30 foot jumps games, or I think I could probably get with playing like 15 foot jumps games or 16 foot jumps games and still finishing there. Because I'll be honest with you, we really don't need to finish uh, all 30 to finish there. Uh, I had about 12 and a half thousand um, champs points uh, or rival points, or whatever they're called. Um, and the threshold was like 13,000 this week, this week. So, and the minimum was like 7,000. So I think I could probably play half the games and get away with it. We'll have to see. Anyway, we do in fact get ourselves two rare players packs and two rare election players packs. And of course we have the foot champions rewards, which we finished 22 and eight. Uh, yeah, it was bad. But to be fair, what I did was uh, on the Sunday night, I streamed from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And I played 17 games, but I only lost six of them. So I thought I did pretty well, to be fair. I only lost six of those games that I streamed. Uh, I went 11 and 6 in three hours. I thought that was pretty impressive, to be fair, because it, it was either like win... Or, or sorry, I'll play all the games then or just not finish my games. So I thought I might as well play them and, uh, and the chat seemed to have a good time. So we, we just chilled and we had some fun. Anyway, we have two player picks now of four players. Let's see if we can get ourselves anything good in terms of the team of the week. Uh, if I quickly open up Footbin just to make sure I can check price and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, the players I'd want, Oblak, Marquinhos, uh, Bruno Fernandes, Nangolo for rating, Demobe, Komen, Balotelli for rating. Um, as well as the 84s for rating. Apart from that, nothing really sparked interest. So hopefully we get one of those players there. Let's have a look. Come on, EA. Give us something good. I'd really like a nine Golan. I really would. Uh, the first one's going to be a choice of Markal or Piatic. Uh, or Piatek, sorry. Not Piatic. Piatek. Um, I actually really like the look of this card, which is why I was like a choice between those two. But I think I've got to go with the uh, with the highest rated there, just in case we ever need him for an SBC or whatnot. We want to go with the highest rated. So second one, I do really want that nine golden card. Like I really want that nine golden card. We'll see though. Uh, oh, okay. Coman is really good actually. Coman's a really good red card. Oh, that's sick. That's actually really dope. All right, we'll take that. Don't think he'll ever come on as a super sub, but he's got the highest possibility aside from Nine Golan in that entire team of the week of ever coming off the bench. That is actually pretty solid. I'll take it. 85 Komen's pretty legit. So that is not too bad. We've got 500k coins in the kitty. Let's see if we can get anything good from any of our packs. We're going to start off, of course, with our uh, division rival packs, which, of course, are two rare electrums and two rare player packs. Come on, EA. I'm actually really happy with that red player pick, to be fair. That's actually solid. So, first pack is not going to be a walkout, but it is going to be a board, which is nice. All boards are going to be fantastic because I do want to look to complete maybe some ones to watch packs or maybe a base icon SBC. Who knows? Uh, but the first pack is going to be Juan Mata, which is not too bad, to be fair. Uh, I will take him. Any nice rare silvers here would be nice, too. Uh, we've got Pinsel logo. We've got Mandando there. So, two boards in one pack is pretty solid. Uh, we've got a Belgian League silver, which is nice. I was looking at com uh, completing that new Balassi SBC. Um, well, it was, it's not new. The Pro League SBC has been out for a while, but Balassi has just been added to it, if you guys didn't know. And it looks like a pretty solid card, to be fair. Or even the Super League one for Medell. Uh, but we've got the second rare Electron Players Pack now. Go on, give us a walk, IA, please. 
No walkout from the second row election place pack, but it is another board. We'll take that. We'll take another board. Go on. Spanish CDM this time. It's going to be a Javi Martinez 84 rated. Pretty solid. I'll take that. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take that. Um, anything else in the pack? No. Sadly, we got a ZX there. Um, oh, we've got a few half decent silvers in there. Hero there. We've got Paddy McNair. Um, we'll go ahead and discard those two and we'll uh, restore the rest. So, we now have two rare players packs from Division Rivals. Let's see if we can get a walkout in one of these. It'd be nice to get something. It would. No walkout in the first one. Board, though. We'll take the board. We will take it. Go on, be an 85 at least. Come on, Italian goalkeeper. It's going to be Viviano, sadly. 83 rated. Not really anything fan fantastic there. That's kind of... It's kind of disappointing, to be honest. We're not really, we're not hitting anything too special at the minute. I'm not really, I'm not really too happy with it. So, it'd be nice to, to to pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, it'd be nice to get something a little bit better. Yikes. Okay, we've got two 82s in there, and eight, a couple 81s, and the rest 18 below. That's that's just not, it's not satisfactory, is what it is. Not, it's not, it's not amazing. So, next 50k pack from Division Rivals. I know I didn't play any division rival matches, so, you know, but, and a walkout would be nice. No, we're not going to get a walkout. We are going to get a board to finish it off. So, we've had all boards, to be fair. It's not bad. Oh, it's going to be Pickford. I was really hoping that might be uh, Deli Alley or Walker. Uh, it's going to be Pickford to end off, which, you know, four boards, an 84, some 83s and, and whatnot is not too bad for not playing a single uh, division rivals match. Um, we've got two 83s in that pack as well. That's actually pretty solid. For not playing a single division rivals game, I can't really complain about that. Uh, but now we've got the two foot champions 100k packs. Hopefully we can get a board in at least one of these. Maybe both of them. Who knows? Uh, but that is the uh, that is the ultimate goal. So EA, please hook it up. Give us something good, please. All right, there we go. Come on, EA. Give us something decent. Walk out in the first one. Come on. What's it going to be? It's going to be a, uh, a normal board. It's going to be Senegalese centre-back. Cooler Barley's upgraded card. That's pretty solid. 88 rated. Uh, how much are you selling for, my friend? That is actually fantastic. That's really good. Uh, 43,000 coins there for the 88 rated card. I will happily take that. That's nice. That is nice. And we might have some other good stuff in the pack. Who knows? Let's have a look. Let, let's have a look if we've got anything else decent in the pack. Go on, be something else good there. Couple 84s in there as well. That's actually really solid. I'm actually really happy with that. So, uh, we're going to list up Kula Bali straight away. Because uh, I have no use for him. I have absolutely no use for him. Uh, 42. You know, I'm going to list with 41, 750. Um, we've got Summer there. Summer's upgraded card. All 84s are selling for a bomb right now. So, if you're going to sell your 84s, you might as well sell them now. Uh, or later on tonight, you know, the same same thing basically. We've got Rodrigo, who I think is going for like 7,000 coins. Um, let me quickly check right now. Rodrigo, you selling for a lot right now. 7,500 coins is pretty decent. Um, we'll go ahead and take that. Anything else in the dupes? We might have a decent duplicate there. No, Lecomte. All right, so um, I really don't have that much use for any of these rares. I'm going to keep uh, everyone until 80 rated and then discard the rest for 8,000 coins. So, uh, oh, look, we'll get rid of him as well. So, we've got one more 100k pack here. Can you make it two walkouts for two? That would be absolutely fantastic if you can. Here we go. Come on. Give us another walkout, EA, please. Yikes, dude. That's, that, that's disappointing, to be fair. That's disappointing. Uh, it's going to be Spanish. It's going to be a center mid. It's going to be Saul, at least. It's 85. We'll take it. That's a, like that's at least like fifteen to twenty thousand coins in the bag right there. Maybe more. Sixteen thousand coins for Saul there. Can we get another eighty-five in the pack? Maybe. Go on. No, but we can get two more eighty-fours. Not too shabby. So we're gonna list up all these players right now because I really just want to get the coins. Uh, fifteen five hundred for Saul. We'll take that. Um, Kepa's upgraded card is probably about six k. It's actually cheaper than that. It's 4K. It's the cheapest 84 on the market right now. Oh, my word. Okay. Gundogan, I know, is about 6K because I actually got him yesterday, I want to say, or the day before that. Uh, he's actually 8K. So, go ahead and list that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and, and discard the rest. But we'll go 
We'll store these and I don't think there was anything in the dupes that was worth looking at or, or keeping hold of. There wasn't apart from like an upgraded, no, not literally nothing. So I'll keep all the 81s um, and we'll go ahead and we'll discard the rest of these players like that. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Simon's rewards. He didn't finish too high in foot champions because he didn't play. But I think we have some rival rewards there and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open up Simon's. Now for Simon's rewards, I don't know actually where he finished in uh, in, in rival. Sadly, I think Division 1 is not as, uh, as, as cool as Division 2. You can't play like 12 games. Um, like I said, I think he actually played 12 games, uh, but I said I'd open his rewards any because because why not? He's got one player picking a bet. It's better than mine. It just would be an 85. It literally just would be an 85. That's probably better than a lot of people we're gonna get this week. And he finished in silver one. But no rewards are cool. Rewards are the, the, you know the, the red play pick system. It's it's fine. It's not it's not broken. It's not. It's not, it's not ridiculous. It, it's completely fine. I, I don't want to buy FIFA points. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just kidding. But uh, but in, in all seriousness, though, it's a little bit silly that that a player, for example, like Simon, that finished in silver one just got an 85, whereas I finished in gold one and my highest was an 85 too. That seems a little stupid, but whatever. Anyway, we've got two premium gold player packs for rank four division rivals. Last time he got rank four division rivals, he actually got a walkout in one of these packs, and he started off with a board. So he's actually got an 85 in the first pack. That's stupid. Okay, what is going on? Oh my god, why is rank four in silver one just this this OP meta? He's actually got an 85 in the first pack. They are tradable as well, so I'll send that to the transfer list and I'll store the rest. That's actually stupid. I have no, I have no idea how much Latan goes for, um, but I can't imagine he's that cheap. I know he's from a poor league, but he's a striker. He's about 14,000 coins there. Not a bad first pack. Second pack now uh, from his rank four rivals. He's actually got a walkout as well. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered, man. I actually can't be bothered. I can't be bothered, man. French, CDM, he's just got RK, thank God for that. I thought he just got N'Golo Kante. I thought he just got N'Golo Kante. It doesn't make sense that this guy's a walkout, but he's just got 285s, one being a walkout from uh, from Rival Rewards, rank 4. Uh, Matweedy, how much are you going for, lad? He's currently going for 20,000 coins on the dot, so he's just made about 35,000 coins from Rival Rewards from rank 4. That is actually crazy. <laughs> we'll go ahead and discard that guy and store the rest, though, uh, which is not bad. That's actually solid. I, I, I don't know how he's done that, but he has. So, we've got a Mega Pack now and a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. So... The Mega Pack now, 35k pack. Let's see if we can get a walkout from this bad boy. We cannot, sadly. Can we get a board at least? Yes, we can. Go on, be another 85. You might as well. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be left mid. He's actually just got another 85. Okay. That's three 85s now. Not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, Koke has a value of uh, 16,000 coins. What is? Why is he getting so many 85s? <laughs> This is from Silver One Foot Jumps right there. Silver One Foot Jumps. He's, he's got an 85 and an 83. That's actually crazy. All right. So he's 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 already got better rival rewards than I did because he got a higher rated plays on the tradable. And uh, if he gets a walkout in this, he's going to have better chance rewards than me. <laughs> well, actually, no, it's a lie. I, I got an 88 rated card, to be fair. And he, uh, he's he's not got a walkout, so so he's not he's not got better chance rewards. But he has got another board, though. Is it an 85? It's going to be an 84 rated Danish goalkeeper, Kasper Michael. Uh, not bad, to be fair. It's decent. There's, there's decent coin value there in that card. Um, let's see if there's anything else in the pack, though. Is there? There is not, sadly. So, I think Simon's actually somehow done really, really well there. Uh, he's done he's done really well there. Out of silver one foot champs rewards and out of gold three, uh, not gold three, out of uh, rank four even. Uh, he's done really, really well there for, for, for those ranks. So, fair play. He's got a, he's got a decent coin value there. Um, I'm, I'm quite shocked. I think that, like, okay... Yes, people that get in silver one and rank four deserve to have luck. They do. I think that there should be a minimum rating system though, or tiered rewards based on where you finish in terms of just, just red cards. So like you finish in gold one, you get one red card that's guaranteed at minimum 84. If you finish in gold three, you get one that's guaranteed 82, you know? Uh, I think that we should have some kind of system in place there that gives the higher finishing players a guaranteed reward, you know, because we don't have 
every every month we don't get an icon now for, for top 100 rewards so and i mean i know i'm not top 100 and i'm not trying to say that i am but uh top 100 people now don't get an icon every month so um i think that they should get like an 88 plus rated card every week and, and we should have an 84 and 85 in gold one elite three two and one should have like 86 87s uh i think that's just pretty fair uh, at least then, if he's got a, a really bad team of the week like it is now, uh, you're not hoping to try and get a Ronaldo. You're guaranteed like a at worst like a Marquinhos or like a like a Bruno Fernandez or someone like that, you know. So that's just my opinion. Anyway, we've got one more set of rewards to open. We've got Big Boss David's. So let's go and open those. I've been looking around at different player picks, and this is what most people are getting this week. Now that I look at this. I sit there and I think that both mine and Simon's rewards are actually insane. Like, they were really, really good. So, I, I'm a little bit happier now with my own rewards. because And Simon's were, like Simon's red pick was mental compared to this. Like, the fact they got 285s to choose from was crazy. So, dude, like, that's, that's mental. That is actually mental. So, my mind is blown. Um, I'm surprised that most people are getting stuff like this, but let's get into David's rewards now. Uh, we do have them on the screen. Uh, he's got 3 million coins in the bank. He's, uh, he's sorting out his team. Uh, apparently, this is the team that he wants. I'm not entirely sure what you're expecting for rewards here, David, but I can almost guarantee you that it's not going to be that. But I believe he said that he finished rank 1 D4. Uh, we've got gold free foot champions rewards first of all. I forgot I should I should have claimed rivals first uh, We can still back out and exit and sort items later though actually um, So he's got rank one in division four, which is two pine gold players packs two rare players packs and two mega packs I think uh, yes, it is so pretty decent rank one d4 is always nice um, So there you see we've got rank one in division rival rewards uh, let's see if we can get anything good from any of the packs. So we're going to start off with the two rare player picks. Uh, two red player picks, sorry. Go on. Give us some at decent EA. Give us some good stuff. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to be... We're going to start off with an 84 Budel. I hope that's how you say his name. <laughs> I hope that's how you say his name, but we're going to start off with him. Um, anything else decent? Can we get an odd black in this next one? Go on. Give us an odd black EA, please. Okay, we've got an 84 Alvaro. Not bad, not bad. This seems to be above average for um, for for what we are seeing. 97 jumping on this guy. Holy moly. It's actually a nice card, to be fair. It's a really nice card. It's well-rounded. And for a centre-back, it's pretty decent. So, we'll go ahead and store both of those, and we'll open up all of the rewards. Now, we have got a bunch of packs to open. We have got nine packs to open. So, we're going to start off with our uh, rival rewards. We've got two Prime Gold Players Packs, two Mega Packs, and two 50k Packs. We're going to start off with a walkout. Come on. Here we go. What's it going to be? Go on. Be a big card, please. It's going to be Argentinian centre-back. It's going to be Austin Mendy. Imagine that was like Messi or someone. That could have been crazy. Uh, but not bad. We'll take that. It's decent. It's a great start from a Prime Gold Players Pack as well. Um, it's a very nice start. It's Austin Mendy. Um, and Schmeichel in the same pack. That's actually really, really solid. So... It's a good start to get. We'll go ahead and open another Prime Gold Players Pack now. Go on, EA. Go on, EA. Damn it, no back-to-back -back walkouts. Imagine that was back-to-back -back walkouts. That'd have been pretty crazy. So, not even a board from the next Prime Gold Players Pack. So, we'll go ahead and skip that. We're not too interested in uh, in, in non-boards there. De Jong, we'll just go ahead and discard that. Now, we've got two Mega Packs for the same thing. Uh, we've actually got four Mega Packs to open in total. That's pretty crazy. So, first Mega Pack's not going to be a walkout. It's going to be a board at least. It's going to be a board. Go on, be an 85, please. Go on. Brazilian left back. 84 is not bad. Alex Tellers. I think he's actually got a great value as well in the game right now. So, that is not too shabby. I mean, it could have been Felipe Luis who would have been 85. But, that is not too bad. And it is the tradable foot champions one as well. So, that was completely by accident. But we got the tradable foot champs uh, uh, pack there. So, we actually got Tellers in that. Uh, let me see how much Tellers goes for. Because we can actually sell him. Um, well, I can't sell him, but Simon, uh, Simon, uh, David can. 13,000 coins right there. Let's go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, which means that I think these two are the rival ones. So, I'll open up one more uh, for the rivals one. And then we'll open up the uh, the champs one and the other rivals one separately with the champs rewards. So, we're not going to get a board in the next one, sadly. But that's not bad, to be fair. To get it the tradable one, that's not too shabby. So, we have got 250k packs, and then we've got for, for rivals, and we've just got an 81 to 83 rare player pick. Go on, be an inform. Go on. 
Ah, we've got Taliso. It's not too bad. Uh, so we've got we've got two 50k packs for rivals. We've got one more 50k pack for champs, and then we've got two 35s for rivals and champs. So we're gonna go ahead with the first of the 50s. I think that these the front ones are the rivals ones but i'm not entirely sure we're not going to get a walkout in the first one sadly not even a board in the first one hopefully this is a rivals one hopefully this one's untradeable fingers crossed this one's untradeable go on damn it we got one of the tradable ones oh this is the only tradable one and it was the worst one so we've got uh this one has to be the champs mega pack now we've messed it all up we've messed it all up well i don't know how but we somehow messed it all up i hope this was the uh the tradable champs 35k pack because if not then that's gonna be awkward was it <laughs> all right you know what yeah i don't even know what packs i'm opening anymore we're just opening packs we're, just, we're literally just opening packs at this point we don't care we've got another mega pack to open up now it doesn't even matter who, what this is. I don't even know. I, <laughs> it's, a, it's a board. So this one has to be tradable. This one has to be tradable. It's going to be Devry. I don't, it didn't even get baited by the Van Dyke because obviously Van Dyke's upgraded now. But that's not too bad to be fair. That's pretty solid. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll store that 84 rated. Uh, how is this untradable? How on earth is this untradable? That means we've had two. We've had three untradable 35s. How does that even work? I'm so confused. Whatever. Anyway, we've got two rivals 50k packs now to open up. I don't even know what just happened, I'll be honest with you. I need to watch that footage back. But the first one's not going to be a walkout. Can we get bored in the first one? Yes, we can. Excuse me. Yes, we can. Come on, EA. Something decent. It's going to be Strootman. Eh. It's 83 rated. We'll store it. It's not too great, but it's not too, it's not too bad. We'll go ahead and store this in the uh, in the old club. There we go. We've got Lucas Lever there. Has he got a tradable counterpart in the club? No, he does not. I already know that we packed Rully. So, we've got one more rare place pack to end off the video. I don't even know what happened to these rewards. They kind of all got messed up. But we'll open it up anyway. Come on, eh? Let's end on the walkout, please. Yes, we can. Come on. Let's go. Be a big card, please. Come on. It's going to be Kaylor Navas. Not too bad. Not too bad. We'll take it. Um, I think we've done pretty well there. We've had really good red cards. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy with the red cards. We've had we've had not too bad rewards here. Two walkouts out of uh, gold three and rank one div four. So not too shabby. And Simon got phenomenal rewards for, for, for the rewards that he got. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.